and welcome to hashtag love fall art. Now I'm going to be doing some brewing for this and these are some previous examples I've done at a workshop with either Lynn Brown or Leandra from Paper Artsy. I can't remember which but it's using the Paper Artsy uh, Freshco finished chalk acrylics and there's some stamping on that one and similar on this one. Isn't that lovely? I think it's really nice. It looks blue to me this one, sort of turquoisey but blue. You'll be seeing it as somewhat greener, that's just because the low light levels in here this evening. So I will now go on and show you the actual bray ring. Been having a little bit of a play with some clay. Super sculpy this is. And once you start it going it gets nice and soft and smushy. And I can, but not that, it's not that so smush you can't get it out again, it's good. So I put it into these moulds, but only put part of the, a little bit of this stuff in, so I get a partial face impression. Like, I didn't want the whole of this with all the hair, just wanted the actual face. And this one's a good one, although well, the nose is a bit washed, but I just, when it comes out, I just fix that. So I'm going to take another impression when I've got them cooked. There's a nice one. Uh, that's one of mine. And the, uh, I can't remember where that one came out of. I think, I think that came out of that one. But I just want to sort of twist it slightly. Uh, these are already twisted. These are from uh, Maureen Carlson's Moon. That one. And that one. And I think that one. Well, that might be... Now, that's off that one, isn't it? Yes. There's another one. Well, this one's off Tribal. And so is the word Spirit and Ancient. That I've got here. And... Oh, that's off, I think, Moon. I think that one is too. That one's off Moon too. Because they're slightly offset face. I love those. So aren't they nice? I'm going to uh, put these, bake them, and then put them on the uh, journal page for uh, Love Fall Art. So I've just got to go down and bake them now, and then I can paint them. Colours. Now, I can't for the life of me remember whether we started with the dark and went on with the light or what, but I'm going to give this a go. I've got some Hyde Park using the fresco finish chalk acrylics and I'm going to do some brayering and yeah. that's basically it that and I'll show you now what wood. happens near the end slightly uneven because I think this is pretty uneven but there's not a lot I can do about that or I could try a bit of wood. Maybe a little bit of wood I've been using as a thing to protect the green mat from the heat gun when I've been heat gunning. Yeah, you know, I don't know how well this is gonna work. Everything's a little bit on the close side. But we'll give it a go. Does it mean that it's difficult to do that part, but still. Um, now that was Hyde Park, so that's a little bit of hay pesto. Oops, typical. Absolutely typical. Forgot to shake it. You nitwit. Go. I am very good at forgetting to do things in the right order. Very good. Brilliant at that. Hopeless at anything else. So, a bit of tissue. Ooh. Wipe that before I get it all over myself. And give it a shake. Yeah! The trouble is, I get so wound up and interested in what I'm doing, everything else goes completely out of the window. Right, let's bring it there. 
Pastor, Pastor, Pit. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so the bit of wood isn't so bad. You're supposed to skippity skip, do it really lightly. And you're only supposed to do it one way like that. Because I could never get the hang of that part. Here I'm brayering with various colours. I've used hay pesto and Hyde Park and I'll use a bit more of that. I'm just going to whiz through this because uh, you don't want to sit and watch lots of brewing. I mean it's the same action with all the different colours and I'll show you what we get at the end. So I've also used Limelight and Zesty Zing and then I've used various darker colours like Inky Pool and some Lavender and uh, I think I might have used, not Caribbean Sea, Beach Hut maybe, Bora Bora, those sort of colours. It doesn't matter what colours you use. You use whatever colours you like basically. So anything goes really. This is great. I've finally managed to find an online version of the instructions for my new cut boss because I've very cleverly managed to lose the instructions that came with it. So, got uh, my nice texture sheet, popped it in, had enough room on it to do the cogs as well, and these two from the... Uh, that came with the craft, uh, the cut and boss. That's that one. I wonder where the little star's gone. It's just around somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yes. And that one. So I'm looking forward to tricking all these out. These ones that have come out are looking rather nice. Do you think? I'm going to have fun playing with that. I'm so looking forward to pulling that one out. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> well here are all the little leaves cut out and separated from the metal. And this is more or less, I think, how I'm going to put them on. And this, I'm using this page. I thought of using a green page. I have got greens in here. That one's used, but there are others. Uh, or I could have done a new one. But then I thought maybe the green leaves will get lost on the green page. So it makes more sense to put it on a page where they actually show up. And besides, it's not that autumny at the moment. It's still fairly warm, a bit rainy, so this is quite an appropriate colour. There is something else that I'm going to be putting on these. I shall stick these down more or less where they are now, I think, and add little things like these after they've been baked. Like that. And that. Oh, now I've got to bake it quite a lot more. And him. Just little faces. Hmm, if I don't knock everything off. I don't know whether I'll do anything else after that. But uh, that's the plan that is following all the sketches I was doing. You haven't seen the sketches, but I may well film those and bung them in earlier, so then you will have seen them. But I want to do some more of these faces. Uh, that one's not quite right, but it's in position as to where it's, uh, one will go. I like these ones, where the face has been twisted. So it's sort of flowing around with everything else. Now I've obviously got to bake them and then paint them. I don't know what I'll paint them. Might go for sort of a bronzy effect. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? That's all, how far I've got so far. This is my sketch for the Love Fall Art upcoming hashtag. Have I got that right way around? I have no idea. Here is the little faces that I've been 
painting with iron and swellagant dioxides and patternas. And that's what we've got so far. I might touch them up a little bit or perhaps go over them with a little bit of um, what's that stuff with the wax? Gilded wax. Maybe, but I'm not sure about that. I'd rather, I really, really want something sort of lighter green because there was some lighter green chartreuse put on there but um, it's not stayed there. I mean I've, I've coated it with sealant but I think it needs a little bit extra. So we'll see what happens. Right, now the last thing I've done with these is go over them with limelight. Right. Because the chartreuse swadigant wasn't showing up enough and I wanted more green to be involved in this. So that's what I've done. Like I've got the words there now. It's probably upside down, yeah. That's the right way up, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to be putting on the journal page. Okay. Okay, this is as far as I'm going at the moment. Uh, you can see that I've got everything pasted on now. Yeah, it's not going to fall off. <laughs> so there we have various little faces. see it a bit better. Uh. There we go. That's, uh, that's it then. I may put some more words on here like pan, wild, autumnal, you know, other things that sort of spring to mind are the same. I like ancient spirit particularly. I mean they're of two separate different things I think. Or maybe not. Maybe they were both off the tribal. But I think one was off something else. Where have I got those things? Let's have a look and see. Moon. That wasn't off that one. Spirit legend. Well, spirit was off the tribal, yeah. And the other one, hmm, it's not that one. <laughs> oh, ancient is also off there. It just wasn't on the on this bit here. It's down here. So both ancient and from Tribal by Maureen Carlson. Okie doke. There we go. 